In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can pass parameters from Movicon Next into a report and then display those parameters on screen as well as using them to filter data. So let's get started. So I'm going to come over to my field list first, not the report layout, but my field list. And just to show you, when I run this report right now, we've got lots of data. As you can see, the page number is constantly increasing. So I'm going to come back to Designer. The first thing I need to do is add some parameters. So I'm going to add my first parameter in. And that's really important because this is case sensitive. I'm going to put a name in. I'm going to give a description. We're going to use this one we're testing to make sure we've got the right data. And data type wise, we want to set it as being a string. Now we're going to go ahead and add another parameter. This is going to be for the end date. Again, remember to set it as a string and OK. Now what I'm going to do now is put a couple of labels onto, onto screen just so we can see what the, the data is that we're passing in. So I've changed the font and I'm now going to change the text. I'm going to copy and paste this so the formatting is exactly the same. Just pop it underneath. And put in the end date. Now from my parameters list, I'm going to drag these over and line them up. And if we run preview now, you'll see it's asking for a start date and end date as parameters before it runs a report. Let's just put some dummy data in so we can see what it looks like. I'm using the correct format just so we can see if it fits. Yep, so I can see the data hasn't changed, but I do have these two values being passed over now. In fact, I'm going to make these boxes just a little bit bigger because I could see they didn't fit properly previously. And again, let's just change the font to keep everything nice and consistent. So it matches the rest of our report. Go ahead and save. Now, if we want to use these parameters to filter what data is coming in, we need to actually change our SQL. So I'm going to come to the very top and I'm going to click Manage Query. And we actually have to add SQL parameters in that link to our field parameters. So I'm going to say Edit Parameters, Add. And to keep everything nice and simple, I'm going to call it exactly the same Start DT. String, we're going to use an expression. So we're going to tell it to use start DT. I'm going to add another NDT string expression NDT. So what we've done is we've linked our SQL query to our parameters that have been pushed into the report. We're going to hit OK. We now need to put a WHERE statement in. So we've told the report what data we want to bring, where we want to bring it from. Now we need to tell it how to filter it. So we want to say WHERE DL 10 sec dot Let's make sure that all the cases are correct. Local time column we want to say is greater than 
or equal to and then we put ampersand start dt and dl 10 sec speech marks local time call is less than or equal to at end dt and if we want to test that now we can go to preview now it's expecting the format in a specific way so it wants year month day hour hour minute minute submit and we can see we've only got data now that falls within that range so let's save and go back to Movicon Now, we need some tags now in order to store the date that we want to pass. So let's go to IO Data Server. I've created a folder to store them. And I'm going to add a new tag. I'm going to call it Start DT. It doesn't have to be called this, but it just makes it nice and simple. A string. Add another tag, end dt, string, tick. We'll just go ahead and save all. Now, in order to pass the parameters in, I need to have a button. We can pass a command. One report, and let's make the text just a bit bigger. Great. Now I'm going to assign a command, which is a report command. I'll tell it the report I want to call, report no chart. I want to show it and now pass in my parameters. This has got to be exactly the same case and spelling as what your report's expecting. Otherwise it won't work. We tell it which tag again to use. So what we've got is we've passed in start dt with the tag start dt and end dt with the tag end dt. But we still need to be able to edit and pass over the dates. Now we could use a display box, but we'd have to remember to tell our user to have it in exactly the right format every time. Or the preferred method is to use display date time. So we'll bring it over. Load it up so we can see it. And what we need to do now is change the formatting on here. So we'll come over to our properties. The first thing I'm going to do is assign my start DT tag. And then we've got null text display format text and convert. So it knows it's going to be a date time format. So we can actually put this into something more readable. Day, day, month, month, year, year. And then we can say hour, hour. Notice I'm using capitals there because it denotes 24 hour clock, minute, minute. And we can even go down to seconds. 
that's in my null text and in my display format which is how it's going to be shown on screen so the null is how it's going to put when we first get there the display is how it's going to be forcing the user to type it in and then the convert is what we're expecting on the SQL side which is year 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 hyphen month month hyphen date date hour hour minute minute second second and what this is going to do is we're going to type it in the UK format but when it passes it over it's going to pass it over in an SQL friendly format so we'll tick it and then I'm going to copy and paste this and just re-tag it as if it was the end date and then we'll save and let's run it so as you can see it recognizes the format let's put it as one o'clock I'll put this as two o'clock and run the report. And we can see 8th of the 4th, 2023, 1 p.m. till 2 p.m. And we're only showing the data we actually need. And that's how you use parameters in Movicom Next and filter data coming out of report. Thanks for watching.